I keep coming back to the two teachers I had. It just made it fun and taught us a different ways of looking at things. When I got here, it kind of all fell into place. Everyone was helpful. It just it made me want to do well and be successful. The Hennepin Technical College Foundation supports the college through scholarships. It supports our students in every effort so that they can persist and pursue their degree. 30% of our students work 30 hours or more with two different jobs sometimes. Many of our students come to this college with hope, dreams, and this college provides an opportunity. Here in the state of Minnesota, as you know, we have a shortage of workers in some very key areas. Hennepin Tech College fills that need, but there are students that don't have the resources to finish their education. So the foundation board comes along, raises the funds for scholarships and grants, and helps them do just that. I'm going to change the, the wiring internal to the board. I graduated from Hennepin Technical College in 1991. I started in ship and receiving, working after school, and also maintaining my construction job at the same time to get through school. They told me that when I would be graduating, I would be moving up into sales, hopefully, and all that. So it was funny that in January of 91, I hadn't graduated yet, Bill Hartfield offered me a full-time position. The rest is kind of history from there. They've outlasted everything they've got. Gary's an amazing person. He's been here 27 years. His name is almost a verb. You actually hear people in uh, other branches, outside people saying, I need a Gary, how do I get a Gary? He's known as a Gary around here. We have three patents, which is unique to most distributors. Gary's co-inventor of two of the three. Looking back over the 27 years that I've been here, I think the teachers were the big part of instilling a great want for knowledge and solving problems. And that carries through here every day uh, that we do something here. He's just a role model all the way around. We love what he does for the company. Check your blood sugars. I am from Durban, South Africa, and I came over here in 2010. I always knew that I needed to have a job where I was helping people. What other way to do that other than nursing? So I did some research, looked on the school website, and found out that there was a specific scholarship opportunity for an international student. I think it changed my, my life tremendously. It allowed me to take the whole money element out of the school and just concentrate on doing well in my classes and making sure that I graduated in the time that I wanted to. Shalene was always one of those people who wanted to succeed. Good enough was not good enough for her. I think it changed her life for the better. Leadership opportunities opened first at Hennepin Tech through the student ambassadors, through the student nurses who care, and I've seen her bloom and thrive and become what I expected of her, which was a individual who's confident, self-assured, and is going to be a lifelong learner because that's what we have tried to instill as the values here at Hennepin Technical College. The public education system that we have here provides them sometimes a first chance and sometimes a second chance when other people and other college institutions would tell them no. That first yes that they get at an institution like Hennepin Technical College is the most important yes because it starts them on a path where they can start to believe that they can. Everyone wants a better life. It's hard to say that you can have a better life if you don't have enough education. And in order for people to continue to come to school, they have to have opportunity. And scholarships provide those opportunities for students that can't do it without help. If you can give me the boots, I'll learn how to lift them up in my own bootstraps. But I gotta have the boots first. You've gotta have the boots first. And without the scholarships, we are just not providing what we need for the type of economy that we want. Those are people that you really want to invest in because they make the community and the economy of our country, not just our state, that much stronger. This place sets the foundation. It sets the core. And education can transform lives. That's what HTC does.